Is ZBrush Core worth buying in 2023? Hey, what's going on? My name's Al, and it wasn't too long ago when buying ZBrush Core made a whole lot of sense. Sure, you didn't get all the bells and whistles of the full version of ZBrush, but you know, most of the sculpting tools were intact and it was totally usable. And the price was just right for most creators at $150 per perpetual license. Hobbyists and indie devs rejoiced. That's right, the old buy once, cry once option, keep it for life kind of deal. Another benefit was that if you ever upgraded from Core to the full version of ZBrush, they would chop a hundred bucks off the price, which is pretty dope. Fast forward to late 2021, Maxon buys ZBrush. The ZBrush community freaks out and things get shaken up quite a bit. So because of this shakeup, things change with ZBrush Core. So ZBrush Core is no longer available with a perpetual license. The only option for ZBrush Core is now a $10 a month subscription. So how much is $10 a month for the rest of your life? Or until you remember to cancel your subscription? The answer is way too much. So ZBrush Core with a perpetual license created a low barrier of entry for hobbyists, indie devs, just all kinds of creators. And in my opinion, that's out the window now. So we aren't even gonna look at comparing and contrasting what does ZBrush Core have versus the full version, version of ZBrush. I simply just do not recommend ZBrush Core, period. So with its limitations and its new subscription model, it's just not worth it. You're better off just taking your time learning Blender and saving pennies on the side to one day buy the full version of ZBrush. And if you are interested in buying ZBrush, watch this video.